Hey guys, this is Nicole. Welcome back to Honest Try TV. Today we slept in <laughs> and this is gonna be day five um, on our cruise. So we're supposed to end up at Richards Bay, South Africa at some point today and we will actually dock there overnight and then depart tomorrow. So this is going to be a combination of Friday and Saturday in Richards Bay when we finally get there. As you can see, we're sailing right now. Um, Jason and I slept in, so we are at Oceans now for lunch and our first meal of the day. Um, for those of you who have not seen our earlier episodes, I'm going to skip the drinks and show you the menu. Here we go. And then on the back, we have some more sides and then desserts. So stick around and enjoy our uh, next couple of days making our way to um, Richard's Bay, South Africa. Hey guys, so here's the information about the port. Found it on our Freestyle Daily um, information. So we're gonna arrive at 7.30 p.m. tonight. It's an industrial port, so you can't walk to the city. You have to take a transfer. Um, there won't be any transfers tonight because we arrived so late, so transfers to the city will start tomorrow at seven in the morning. So we'll see what we can get into tomorrow in town. I don't know what time we're departing now. Um, we don't have an excursion book, so we'll see. Hey Jason, what'd you get? I got the soup of the day. They told me it's tomato soup. It smells ah, tomato-y. It smells good. Can't wait. Okay guys, so for those of you who haven't seen it, this is the Ocean Irish pub. And Jason's still working on his soup over there. Also, one other thing I'll highlight is that the water is really, really, really rough. Um, this is probably some of the roughest water I've ever been on. And I've been in the Pacific and the Atlantic. Um, I guess this is the Indian Ocean. Oh no, we're, yeah, I guess this is the Indian Ocean. I'm not even sure what waters we're in, but man, can you see the waves? Like, it's really rough out here. The boat's rocking like crazy, so if you are susceptible to motion sickness, just be aware that this particular cruise has rough waters throughout so far. All right, guys, so I got the cheeseburger. I added uh, bacon, no mayo, and I got my burger. Oh, well, well done. done. I got Jason, mine medium well. Jason got the medium well. Good old faithful, the uh, Wrangler burger. Wrangler. It's spicy. I like the jalapenos. Yep. Right. So we're going to enjoy our lunch, guys. Jason, what'd you get? I got the cheesecake yet again. It was actually... Out of the three choices that we usually have here at uh, Oceans, right? Yeah, for dessert. Uh, yeah, dessert is probably, the, I, I think personally, it's the best one. I wish I had a little scoop of ice cream, though. That would have been nice to come with it. You could ask for it. I can? I'm going to ask for it. All right. Okay, guys. So the pool's right there. We're on the 12th floor. We just walked across from the elevator shaft by the pool um, to the other side. We're at the front of the ship. This is the... Um, photography studio here if you're interested in that and then there is a the gaming room is here I think with a library and we are heading to Mandara Spa and Salon which is down there at the end um, to check out what they've got going on okay so here are the spa packages in case you're interested And also earlier, we received these, um, which are $50 vouchers, for one for each of us, one for me, one for Jason. 
um, for use in the spa. So, yeah, we're going to see what they got going on in here. Oh, also, in case you're interested, so here's the ship. We are we're there. No red dot. No red dot. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're leaving the spa, and just here on the right, there is a gem. Uh, the Pulse Fitness Center is right straight ahead. And we're gonna jump on here and go back downstairs um, to the casino. Did you wanna check it out? No. Okay. okay. All right, so we're gonna see what we can get into next. All right, so I'm going into the gym now and check it out. This is nice. It's a beautiful view. So uh, you're facing out through the window here. And I'll just give you the 411. We were looking at the spa package. I think it was going to be $229 um, to have access to the saunas and spas for the rest of the cruise. Um, so with our 50% off coupon, um, that would have brought that price down. But also, I had to be careful with my body. Um, I'm not sure what I can and cannot handle, so we're not sure. And Jason doesn't like saunas. I think we're going to pass on that. They also have products for sale, um, body oils, body wash, facial treatments, etc. if you're interested in those. So you can check that out as well. Um, they have towels and, of course, um, robes for you to use in the spa, and they also have towels here in the gym for you to use. And if you're interested, they have fitness classes here. Something I was interested in um, is broken out by, based on our itinerary for the cruise. And if you're also interested, there's acupuncture as well. And that was something I was interested in looking into. There's a lot of nice scientists. Because it is depicting what was happening at the time, but also the takeaway is the plant line, the bird line, and um, all of that um, that was happening around the, the fish, which I had everything that was present during that time. Okay, the people, the animals. Hey guys, we are still making our way to where are we going to? Um, hold on, we're still making our way somewhere. Making our way downtown. Yeah. Richards Bay, South Africa. Still making our way to Richards Bay. As you can see, it's really nasty out. Um, there's a storm over there. You can kind of see the rain coming down. Um, yeah, and the water's very, very, very rough. So you can feel the boat sway really hard from side to side. It's kind of rough. Rough, rough, rough. So, we will be getting in at 7.30. It's currently like what? What time is it, Jason? 5.30. It's 5.30, so we got about two hours before we get into port. So we're gonna go grab some dinner and then probably make our way to a show. So see you guys soon. Hey guys, so we just um, left the bar where we were hanging out for a bit, waiting for Alizar to open. Um, we were about 30 minutes early, 5.30, and it didn't open till 6, so we just went to the bar and got some drinks and hung out in the meantime. We'll go back and get a clip of that menu, so you can see. Hey! How are you? Good, how are you? How's it going? Good, how are you? How's the day to do it? Enjoying? It is. I've been sleeping all day. Yeah, we've been hanging out and just sleeping. We haven't done anything. It's cool. Yeah. 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 Alright, so this is today's menu for Alizar. Alright, so Jason, you got the... Tostadas. Is it beef? Uh, yeah, yeah. They're, I thought it was going to be larger. There's only, it looks like there's only three chips. It looks like they sit it on chips to just eat the whole chip. That's what it looks like. And I got soup, um, <laughs> corn and cheddar, it's jalapeno yeah. soup. All right. Jason, what'd you get? Cajun shrimp and grits? Yes, I did. And it smells amazing. Mm -mm -mm. It has it has wrapped bacon around it, too, if you can see bacon right there. Bacon wrapped Cajun shrimp. Yep, there you go. You see it? Yep. 
and I have the fried chicken with mashed potatoes and gravy, biscuit, and corn. Southern. Country dinner. Country. All right, guys, we're going to get started. And here we have the dessert menu. Okay. All right. What is it? Uh, this is the um, fig. cobbler, fig and uh, something cobbler. I forget. Apple. What was the apple. apple? Yeah, fig and apple cobbler. It looks good. This is the banana split. Mmm, this looks good. Can't wait to get this. What you got? And this is the creme caramel. <laughs> Thank you for turning, Jason. Three sixty view. Alright guys, so we just finished dinner and we are on our way to the Stardust Theater, which is this way, um, to see, uh, not kinky boots, something boots, sparkle boots, something, somebody boots. So we're going to pass by the cocktail bar here, through the casino, and then to the Stardust Theater. Okay, here we are at the Stardust and we're watching the Blazing, Blazing boots. boots. I knew it was something with boots, right? All right, let's get in there and watch the show. Hey, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave any comments, questions, recommendations down below. And we are going to finish out day five and transition into day six at Richards Bay, South Africa. So um, we just got back to the room from the Blazing Boots show. It was a country music tribute. Very... Um, Entertaining, very exciting, pop and rock versions of country music, um, some um, ballads as well. So very nice variety. So we're back in the room and on our bed, we have the Freestyle Daily for tomorrow. So we were supposed to get into Richard's Bay today at 7.30 p.m. That did not happen because we're in the middle of a really bad storm. So the port authority shut down the port, blocked all access. All ships have to be moored a safe distance away and wait for the storm to pass before we're giving, given authorization to uh, dock. So it's us and a bunch of other ships, tankers, cruise ships, etc., out here at sea just chilling. So, so we're in open waters just hanging out right now. The boat's rocking really bad. It has been all day, um, and it's been pretty dark and dreary outside with pouring rain and overcast and just really rough waters. So... Hopefully things will clear up by tomorrow, although it is forecast to still be cloudy. Um, it will be at least a little warmer with a high of 72 degrees. Hopefully we will be in port. Um, I know some folks have excursions booked. Some of those probably leave early in the morning. We do not. So um, we're just going to kind of wing it. I'm going to read through this to see, you know, what's available for us to do. And we're just going to check some things out in the Richards Bay area. So stay tuned for that. Also something that Jason's really excited about is this Freddie Mercury tribute with Manuel at 7 and 9 p.m. So we'll definitely try to see that also. So stick around and we will transition into day six at Richards Bay. Hey guys, so it is day six now. We are in Richards Bay, South Africa and yeah, we ported at some point in time last night. Um, I guess the storm cleared and Port Authority allowed us to make our way into port. So here we are. It is storming, raining like crazy outside, pouring. We're next to a rock quarry. I don't know. What is that coal? Asphalt? I don't know what that is, but yeah, it's an industrial port. Lots of dirt everywhere, like mounds and mounds, like literally little mountains in the background of dirt. I don't, I don't know what's going on. So, um, they were saying it's impossible to walk out of here, and I don't see any... Oh, there are buses. There are buses. So maybe there are taxis? I don't, I don't know how we get out. I don't know. We'd like to go into town and explore, but I don't even know how we do that. We'll have to ask downstairs. Um, and I don't know, as far as the eye can see, and the eye can't see far because it's raining so hard, it is very, very, um, foggy. There, those are like industrial buildings over there. They're not like skyscrapers or anything. I don't even see the town. You know, it's really just like cranes and 
ships, like um, cargo ships in factories, and I don't, I don't know. So we're nowhere near anything. Um, yeah. So we're gonna go get breakfast, and then we will figure out figure out if it's possible to get into town to explore a bit, um, and then we'll we'll go from there. So see you guys in a bit. All right, so we were going to the dining room, but they closed at 9, and it was 9.20, so we are upstairs in the Garden Cafe buffet, buffet. having breakfast. Oh, you can eat. Yeah. I got a mixture of stuff. This is only round one. I got to go back and see what I can find. I got conky. This is probably my only round. And yeah, this is our view. Still pouring rain outside. Pouring rain. And we're gonna do some shopping. And there was also an option to go to a village or something? So there are um, taxi cab drivers oh, yeah. that are offering tours, and we opted not to go because they're not associated with the ship. There's no guarantee that we'll get back on time. We don't know these people, et cetera, et cetera. And they charge 300, they said. But if you were interested in, for example, going to the Zulu village, they were offering $300 to take you as a group, which is, you know, comparable to the ship, almost. Yeah. So, yeah, we're just going to stick to this. We're going to be going to the same place. So, we're going to stick to this. Yeah. Okay, guys, so we just came into the mall, and surprise, surprise, there is a rifle store, gun store, right here in the mall. Never seen that before. So yeah, we're just gonna walk around and see if we can find some souvenirs. Okay, so we just found a Toys R Us and a Babies R Us. Apparently they went bankrupt in the States, so we're just shocked to see them here. But yeah, look at that, people. It's like, it's like a blast from the past. Yeah, nostalgia. Across from Toys R Us is an arcade called The Fun Company. So if you're interested, they have like bowling and go-karts and video games and things in there. Ah, All right, so you can check that out if you're interested. So we just came out of spice and stuff, um, and I got a bunch of spices that I'm gonna try to get back into the States. I think I can. It was good. Yeah, it smells it really smells good awesome. It smells amazing. They're ground up right here. Say hey! Um, so we just went in there and got like four packets of spices and now we're still walking around we walked around the uh, grocery store back there shop right it's just the grocery store um, they did have some local fare in the uh, prepared food section if you want to try out the local local foods um, there was a power outage here the whole mall went dark for a little bit so um, you can see the lights are still coming back on in certain parts of the mall. Stores are dark, but they're actually open. They said it's normal. Yeah, it's normal for there because there's just not enough power for the grid. So certain sections will black out throughout the day. And it just takes time for the lights to come back on like this store. Open but dark because their lights are still coming back on. All right, so next we're going to go into this fluff meat supply place, just to be nosy. And see what, oh, it's just a butcher. It's just a butcher. I won't bother. Uh, okay. Butcher. This is a furniture store. As you can see, their lights are still out, but their doors are open. And they've got a cash-only sign because they don't have power to process credit card charges. <laughs> Bless their hearts. Mr. Price must be very popular because yeah. we've seen a Mr. Price store, Mr. Price home, and Mr. Price sports. Yeah, so it's a chain that does yeah. a variety of things, apparently. Okay guys, so we're apparently there's another spice and stuff place. There's Checkers, which is another grocery store. And this they have place all the power. this ranch, I know, they've got definitely a backup generator because a lot of places still don't have power. We were at the ranch Biltong right here. Biltong apparently is like jerky. Um, and it's popular local fare. So you might want to check that out if you're in South Africa. So yeah. Okay, so we are back on the bus. We're leaving the boardwalk. Mall. You see a picture there, and we are heading back to the ship for lunch. And I think that's going to conclude our time in Richard's Day. Um, 
Again, if you are interested in doing a tour and you didn't book an excursion on the ship, there are um, people waiting outside the bus with signs to take you to various safaris and places, but we can't vouch for the legitimacy of those tours. Or the or... guarantee that you'll be back in time before the boat leaves. Right. That was my concern. Like, I would have taken them, but... 2 p.m. was the cutoff time, and I'm like, yes. I don't know, man. Some of them were as low as $200, but still, it's like... It's risky, I don't know. I if, do you, it. if you miss the boat, yeah. then what, what good does that do you? Yeah. Anywho, we're heading back for lunch now. Okay, guys, so we're back on the ship, and um, we were talking to some Cape Tonians um, who are also on this cruise ship as we were making our way up in the elevator, and they share that they didn't expect much from Richards Bay. Um, apparently, the power outages are normal. They last for three to four hours, and they happen every day. So it was really sad because a lot of stores had to close. Like, for example, the arcade that I showed you guys earlier had to shut down because there's no power for the the videos, the video game machines, or the go-karts or anything. I mean, of course, the uh, grocery stores were still on because they had generators, but smaller shops that didn't have backup generators just had to close. Um, food stores just had to close and throw out, I guess, whatever they they had prepared and weren't able to keep or sell immediately. Like, it was just a mess. So, that was our day at the mall in Richards Bay. Total waste of time. Um, I do not, I, I don't know why Norwegian includes this as a stop. Um, perhaps the cruise ship organized um excursions are worth it i wouldn't know i i looked at them i wasn't blown away by the options there weren't that many i think there were only four or five excursions available and they weren't mind-blowing um i think there was like a bird sanctuary a visit to a zulu village um a crocodile park maybe i don't know but and nothing that really jumped out at me that I thought would be worth the money. Hence why I thought, oh, we'll just go downtown and walk around, not realizing that um, there really is no downtown. It's kind of just, they take you to, there's a free shuttle from the bus to the mall. They drop you off. There's, it's a regular, regular mall. Um, you know, we got the spices as souvenirs, local souvenirs, but yeah, kind of a waste. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to continue exploring the ship right now. We're going to go get lunch and then we'll explore the ship some more and see what else they've got going on for the rest of the day. Okay. So we came to Ocean's for lunch. Here's Ocean's. It's the Irish pub on board. If you haven't Everybody seen must it. be out. It's a... um, yeah, I guess everyone is out. We're going to be departing soon though. So we're in a little, um, Beach port? Yeah, I don't know. It's it's industrial. It looks pretty harbor. here on the other side of the ship, but this water is being pumped full of refuse from the industrialized stuff on the other side. Here's the menu. I'm gonna skip past the drinks, cocktails, sodas, wines, whatever. Here's the food menu if you haven't already seen it. May I have a virgin mojito? Virgin mojito. How about it? I'll do a matador. Matador. Yeah. For your car. There you go. Let's figure out what we're gonna do. I'm gonna try this. Jason, what did you get? I got the good old trusty blue cheese burger. Look at that! Look at that butter. Blue cheese burger. Mm. But this time I got the side of bacon and also uh, jalapenos. Mm -hmm. Let's try to make it a little spicier. And save you. He also ordered a matador. I ordered a virgin mojito and a cob salad with ranch dressing on the side. Okay guys, so we just finished our, our lunch and we are checking the itinerary. It's almost one, so we're gonna head to Magnum's for afternoon trivia and categories and origami creations. So we're gonna basically origami. hang out there for the next hour or so, maybe hour and a half. We, we might do one loser draw um, and see. Because as you can see, there isn't that much going on. They've got something, one thing every 30 minutes, really until 5. Um, we've got dinner at 6. So we just need to keep ourselves occupied till then. All right, so we just picked up our our uh, trivia answer sheet. We are the aces. It looks like it's going to be over there. And, yeah. 
We are in the Magnums. Magnums. Mag Magnums. Magnums. Which is closed, which is right next to Le Bistro, which is also closed. And I think that's the cigar bar right there. And it's down below um, Teppanyaki and Jasmine and the sushi, sushi bar there. On the, that's the seventh floor. We're on the sixth. Okay, guys, so we just finished doing the trivia, and we got two out of 20, so needless Ew. to say, we lost. Um, next up is Scattergories. So we just finished Scattergories, and now we're about to do some origami. Origami. We're going to make a hat, a uh, samurai hat. Samurai hat. Yeah, Team number one, would you like to try it out? Nope. Okay. I'll produce the papers first. They have a very, very unique way of making paper. So... That's why their their papers, you know, the origami papers, they look different and feel different than the regular paper made out of the wood. So anyway, this is regular cup and band. Um, I actually just cut it into a square. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold this into a triangle. So one tip at the bottom, bring it up to the top, and then you crease the bottom out. Right? You can use your tables. Okay, I'm just I'm letting you see it like this because. I don't have the table and you, can, you have to see it. Okay, so these are our finished origami. Give yourselves a round of applause. Yeah. The Japanese samurai hat. Japanese, Japanese samurai, samurai hat. hat. Right, That's next, cool. We're gonna make the katana. Ooh, we're gonna make a katana? Sweet. Oh. <laughs> I got excited. Okay. But don't worry, we still got arts and craft later in the day. I'm gonna give you the part making later. So congratulations, you have made progress and you are now masters of the Oregon. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Everybody say, Banzai! 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 So now we're going to play win, lose, or draw. Yeah, win, lose, draw. How are you supposed to play win, lose, or draw? It's very easy. It's a guessing game. Okay. All right? So I'm going to open a Pictionary card. You're going to pick one Pictionary card. One card actually has five items in the front, and then those are five at, at behind it. Okay. So you're going to choose one of this or as much as you can in the next one minute. Okay? So in 60 seconds, you have to draw what is listed here, and your teammate has to guess. If oh, you're no. able to guess correctly, then you move on to the next this, one. This is going to be okay. hard. Mm -hmm. All right. You guys ready? Yeah. Okay, now choose who's going to be your artiste. All right, guys. So we're in my, sorry, we're in Bliss Lounge. Bliss Lounge? We're back at Bliss Lounge, hanging out with our good friend, Paul. Thank you, good sir. <laughs> I made it with a good friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> And we're gonna do some more games there's with him because there's nothing else to do right now. Yeah, there's. Um, so what are we doing with Paul? It's word search challenge, and then we have arts and crafts, craft where, where making. Okay, we are here. Word search challenge, and then card making, and then we'll probably go to the beanbag toss because there's nothing else to do. Yeah, just hanging out on the ship with our good okay, friend Paul. So who's up for some word search? And here's our word search. So it's a musical word search. And we're getting ready to get started. All right, guys. So we just finished the word search, and I won. Yay! She did win. Hey, get it, girl. I finished it in 12 minutes. So now we're waiting for the beanbag toss. Mm -hmm. so challenge, be beanbag next, challenge. Our next activity here. Cornhole, as it, we call I, it in it, the States. Yeah, I think it's like basically like cornhole, right? Yeah. 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 We are at La Cucina for dinner. And... Ooh, fancy. Okay, fancy. Yeah. Thank you. Nice Thank to you. Look at that. We're going to crash here. All right, guys, so we've got a beautiful view, but as you well know, you know, there are people at the beach. Yeah, I just saw Look them. Look at that. Yeah. So we saw stuff pouring from the industrial park into this water so we weren't sure um, but it looks like people are at the beach and in the water so yeah like a lot of people actually yeah there's a lot of trucks over there here there's things. some more too hi how's it going good good hi welcome water just out yeah 
as part of your dining okay you can have a uh, one antipasti one pasta or risotto and one meal okay perfect are the um so one one and one perfect okay guys so the sommelier just stopped by to check on us um and take drink orders uh, so we put those in. Jason's going to get a sangria. <clears throat> and I got a virgin pina colada. And they also prepped us for the bread. So this is olive oil with balsam balsamic vinaigrette. Or balsamic vinegar. And um, I added pepper. fresh ground black pepper to mine. And Jason got um, freshly grated Parmesan added to his. Mm. So we are all ready for the bread. So now we're going to work on placing orders. Okay guys, so they just brought us some fresh bread. Kind of soft. It. Very soft. And, Look at that. And fresh very, and hot. Yeah, and hot. Very hot. Fresh out the oven. Fresh very oven. yummy. So we're killing that now along with our, our cocktails. Okay guys, so here's my antipasti. Very good, thank you. Photographer just stopped by to check on us to see if we wanted a photo. Um, and Jason got the calamari. Calamari. And we turned down more bread because we will get full on bread. Yes, please. I just want to get a video of you doing the cheese. Oh, mirala. Mm. That's good. Thank you, ma'am. I would like some too. Are you Yes. And what did Jason get? What again? What did he get? Okay. Nice, I forgot. <laughs> Thank and I got you. the beef, beef lasagna. I'm ready. Oh, you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So I got the salmon. Thank you. And Jason got the beef tenderloin. Beef tenderloin. Looks yummy. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. And we got some more fresh bread. Yeah. I got it. Got it? Yeah. All right, and here we have the <coughs> dessert menu with Starbucks coffee at the bottom. And there we go. All right, Jason, so I got the lemon cheesecake. And Jason got the chocolate tart. Yeah, it looks good. Excellent. Okay. All right, guys, so we just wrapped up our dinner. As you can see, the Italian restaurant is still cool, pretty empty. We're going to head to Stardust Theater now for the 7 o'clock performance of the Freddie Mercury tribute. Hey guys, so we are at the Stardust Theater on the 7th seventh floor. 7th seventh floor. Seventh floor. And here we go, Freddie Mercury tribute. It's Manuel Caramori. And the Jade Orchestra. So we're going to the 7 o'clock performance. Hi okay, guys, and here's the theater. It's a nice theater. Yeah. There we go. Hey guys, it's Nicole. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave any comments, questions, recommendations down below. I'm going to close out this Honest Try TV video regarding our stop um, in Richards Bay, South Africa. Richards Bay? Yeah. South Africa. Um on the Norwegian Jade um, as we cruise around South Africa and Namibia on this 12-day cruise. So all in all, I'm disappointed. I wish we had not stopped here. Um, I would have been happier if instead we continued north to Maputo and stopped in Mozambique and added another country to our itinerary. There was literally nothing to do here. Um, unless you had an excursion booked and the excursions were limited. There were only so many of them and there were only so many seats. And so they booked up quickly and obviously everyone on the ship couldn't get on an excursion. So everyone else was kind of just stuck taking the free shuttle bus to the mall, which was your regular, regular everyday mall, you know, nothing great. I couldn't even find really good souvenirs there. Um, I did pick up some spices you know, but that's literally it. So, um, honestly, you could have treated today, yesterday and today as sea days because we spent more time on the boat doing activities than anything else. Um, 
That said, at least I can say we enjoyed our dinner tonight at the Italian restaurant. That was nice. We enjoyed hanging out with, um, what was his name? Paul? Sean? Who's the uh, cruise director staff that we hung out with most of the day? Oh, man, I forgot Paul. Paul? I think so. Yeah. So those activities were actually fun. Um, and we really enjoyed ourselves playing cornhole and Pictionary and doing origami and stuff like that. Because, I mean, there was nothing else to do. Um, anyway, so tomorrow we'll be heading to Durban, South Africa. It'll be day seven of our cruise. We do have a tour book, a shore excursion book through Norwegian Cruise Line, um, to tour the city of Durban. So that departs, um, we're supposed to meet in Stardust Theater at 820 for that. So we've got our alarm clock set so we can wake up in the morning and, um, get there on time to take our tours um we'll, we need to be back on board the ship by two o'clock and then this will be our last port of call in south africa before we have two days i think at sea and then we head to namibia or as we make our way to namibia so then we have two stops in Namibia, and then we make our way back to Cape Town, where we will end our cruise. So that's been it for this episode of Honest Try TV. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. We hope you enjoyed it, and stick around for more episodes. Bye!